Hey everyone, it's Leisha here and today I'm giving you a look at my Gran Turismo 7 setup. GT7 released on the 4th of March on PlayStation 4 and 5 and it's been a hit. I got gifted a code for it on PS5 from PlayStation and I thought it would be perfect to set the racing sim back up for some immersive gameplay. I have the Thrustmaster T300 RS, GT wheel and pedals. This is the Gran Turismo edition. It's built for GT and gives you a really immersive and realistic experience in-game. I have the wheel mounted to the X-Rocker rig stand and then attached is the XR Racing Drift 2.1 sound chair. This chair has a built-in 2.1 channel speaker as well as back adjustments and the seat slider so you can really get yourself positioned comfortably like you would driving a real car. I am someone who loves a racing game but I don't know much about cars. I've grown up playing racing games with my dad so the genre is very nostalgic to me. So playing GT7 has really surprised me because I find it really easy to understand what's going on in the game and I find that it assists me with progression and learning what I need and don't need when jumping into races with certain cars. I'm playing through the story mode as per normal with my favourite tasks being the menus in the cafe where you race to unlock certain car models as well as the missions where you have a task to do in a race in order to come first. Another feature of GT7 that I'm loving is the music rally. Racing along to the beat of the music to gain more time in order to keep up with the race is a lot of fun. The game literally starts off with the first music rally session to an upbeat classical orchestra before you can actually start the campaign or access any menus. There's more songs to unlock and I think it's a heap of fun. The graphics and colours look great and the performance that the PS5 gives this game is awesome to see. I have had smooth gameplay, no dropped frames and even though I don't have an OLED TV, I have a 5 or so year old basic 4K Samsung, yet the game still looks great. Although I'd love to see what it would look like on a new OLED. Overall, Gran Turismo 7 with this particular setup is a heap of fun and I 100% recommend it. You don't necessarily need this particular wheel though. You could use the Logitech G923 or even the old G920 and rock the shifter with it too if you want to drive manual and still have such an immersive GT experience. I don't know how to drive manual so I don't have a shifter, however if I do want to learn I can just use the paddles on the wheel for now, eventually I will upgrade to the Thrustmaster shifter to pair with this wheel. I'd love to know if you have a racing setup and use a wheel and if you do, what do you use? Leave a comment and I'll be sure to respond. That's it from me today, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.